Welcome to a screencast on acid and base strength and structure. The objectives of this screencast are to rationalize and predict trends in acid and base strength in relation to their molecular structure. And to start, let's consider three acids, HOCl, hypochlorous acid, HOBr, hydrobromous acid, and HOI, hydroiodic acid, and the question is which one is strongest, which is weakest, and why? Now, if we look at the Lewis structures of each molecule, we'll see some distinct similarities and then a difference. Each is HO something, and the something is either chlorine, bromine, or iodine. In each case, it's a halogen. And presumably, the difference in strength of acids has to do with which particular halogen it is. Now, of course, we have a way to determine acid strength. That's the acid dissociation constant, K sub A. And if we look up the K sub A for HOCl, it's 2.9 times 10 to the minus 8th. For HOBr, 2.8 times 10 to the minus 9th. And HOI, 2.3 times 10 to the minus 11th. Now, all three of these are fairly small values of K sub A, so these are pretty weak acids, but HOCl is not quite as weak, and HOI is distinctly weaker. So why is that? Can we rationalize this? Can we explain this? And if we consider the halogens, in this case chlorine, bromine, and iodine, and look at their electronegativities, chlorine is the most electronegative, iodine is the least electronegative, and if we think about what that means, so here are their relative uh, values of electronegativity. And since electronegativity is a measure of how much an atom or an element quote unquote wants electrons, chlorine wants electrons more than bromine or iodine. And what chlorine does, because it's reasonably electronegative, is it pulls or withdraws some electron density from another part of the molecule, specifically the electron density between hydrogen and oxygen that makes that bond. And by withdrawing some electron density, it weakens that HO bond. And of course, weakening the HO bond makes the acid stronger. Now, Br will do a similar thing to Cl, but not as strongly. It has a smaller electronegativity, 2.8, compared to 3.0. So it withdraws less electron density than Cl would and makes a a uh, smaller effect of weakening the HO bond. And then HOI, same idea, but even less electronegative. So it withdraws even less electron density than either Br or Cl. And so by, that will weaken the bond even less and will therefore make the acid even weaker. So we can rationalize the trend in bond strength leading to a trend in acid strength, and weaker bond means stronger acid, and it has to do with the electron uh, electronegativity, relatively speaking, of chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Higher electron electronegativity withdraws more electron density, weakens the bond, makes a stronger acid. So there's our summary. HOCl is strongest. HOI is weakest, and we just went through the reasons why. Okay, now uh, a thing to note, in general, if we have a hydroxyl group, OH, and then it's bonded to something else, we have two bonds, one on either side of the O that are of importance. Bond A is the one between O and whatever the rest of the molecule is. The bond B is between O and H, which, if broken, produces an acid. And note, we actually have two distinct situations. If element E has a higher electronegativity, relatively speaking, then we're going to have a strongly covalent bond between E and O. So an example, of course, would be what we just did, Cl or Br or I. Uh, we have a covalent bond, fairly strongly covalent, and because of that, the bond B is a polar bond. Electron density is pulled this direction, 
and because the bond is polar, the hydrogen, uh, or partially because the bond is polar, the hydrogen is reasonably readily released, which means we have an acid. Now, of course, there is another possibility. E might not be something that forms a covalent bond. It could be a metal with a low electronegativity, and if the electronegativity is relatively low, then this bond is actually ionic, and what that means then is that the hydroxyl group actually is an OH minus ion that is just simply released, potentially at least, and that makes our solution basic. So important thing to note, you do have to consider what's attached to the oxygen. Is it something that forms a covalent bond like Br or Cl or I? Or is it something that forms an ionic bond like magnesium or calcium? And we get two very, very different situations in terms of acidity or basicity. Now, one other thing that's worth noting, kind of important, what if the hydrogen is directly bonded to something like F or Cl or Br or HI? Which of these acids is strongest? Which is weakest? And why? And if we recall that a stronger acid means an H dissociates more easily, a weaker acid means the H does not dissociate as well, then the strength of the bond holding the H onto whatever the substance is, whatever the element is, F or Cl or Br or I in this case, that's going to have a big effect on the acidity. HF is a much stronger bond, 570 kilojoules per mole, compared to HCl. That's stronger than HBr, and HI is the weakest. And so since a stronger bond corresponds to less dissociation and therefore a weaker acid, and a weaker bond corresponds to more dissociation and a stronger acid, the ordering from weakest hydrogen fluoride or hydrofluoric acid to strongest hydroiodic acid is as follows. And actually in water, HCl, HBr, and HI all are strong acids, 100% dissociated. HF is the only one of these four that is a weak acid uh, in water as a solvent. And as sort of a general trend, if we have hydrogen directly attached to another element, fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, then the general trend is what we just saw. As the bond strength gets weaker, for example, going down the column, then the acid strength gets larger. And of course, if the acid's stronger, then the conjugate base is weaker and vice versa. And for very similar reasons, going across a row, we have increasing acid strength. So methane, neither an acid nor base. Ammonia, weak base. Water, neutral. Hydrofluoric acid, or HF, is a weak acid. And a similar trend for the uh, next row down. And of course, the base strength goes in the opposite direction of acid strength. And again, note, these are when the hydrogen is directly bonded to the element of interest. Now we can apply the same reasoning, or same type of reasoning, to bases. So here we have two bases, aniline and 4-chloroaniline. And the question is which one is stronger and why on the basis of molecular structures. Now if we look in a little more detail at what makes them a base, uh, both of these have an NH2 group. Uh, there's a lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen, which can attract an H plus or a proton. And how well that is attracted, how strongly it's held, is a measure of how strong the base is. Now, this is going to be very similar to how we did acids, but a little bit reversed. And in fact, it might be easier to just simply do things in terms of the conjugate acid form of each of these. So if we add an H plus to aniline, we make its conjugate acid. Same thing with 4-chloroaniline. And when we now look at these two acid structures, then 
The difference is the chlorine, which is highly electronegative. A highly electronegative element withdraws electron density from the other side of the molecule, weakens the nitrogen to hydrogen bond a little bit, and if that bond is weakened, then the hydrogen detaches more easily, hydrogen ion that is, and that makes this a stronger acid. Now, of course, if the conjugate acid form is stronger, then its conjugate base is weaker. If the conjugate acid is weaker, then its base form is stronger. And so aniline being the, or having the weaker conjugate acid means that aniline itself is the stronger base. And we can check this by looking at K sub B values. And yes, the K sub B for aniline, 4.3 times 10 to the minus 10th, is in fact a little bit bigger than the K sub B for, for chloroaniline, 1.4 times 10 to the minus 10th. So our prediction is borne out. Aniline is the stronger base using the same molecular structure arguments that we used previously. And that is it for the acid and base strength and structure screencast.